Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I'm going to share with you how I made these really cute but really simple Valentine's Day nails. I just picked up some press-on nails because I didn't want to switch up my own manicure just yet but I used a couple of new beautiful gel polishes that Madame Glam actually sent out to me. I chose four colors to actually do a cute design with like this but it is in total I think a 10 piece collection. It's from the chapter one elite collection so if you're curious about that definitely check it out and if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so and of course hit that notification bell and become a part of my little nail family here at YouTube. But let's continue with the four colors that Madame Glam has sent out to me. These are all 15 milliliter bottles. You have to cure each layer for 30 seconds, which is something that I totally love because it's quick. Um, they are vegan, they're cruelty free, they're HEMA free. And yeah, they're just really nice gel polishes to use. You can easily apply them, but you can easily soak them off as well. It is definitely one of my favorite gel polish brands. You've heard me rave about this brand for like, I think like one and a half, maybe even two years already. And yeah, I'm still a big, big fan. But these colors are actually very like milky, kind of sheer, but still buildable gel polishes. So they are perfect to wear like anytime i'd say there isn't really a color in this collection that you couldn't wear for specific occasions i think it's just really gentle very neutral and just perfect for everyday wear but here i'm just showing you all of the colors i have on forehand already swatched the four tones that i've got because i mostly want to go into the valentine's day design that i did with these it will be my first valentine's day design of this year 2021 one so yeah i'm pretty much curious to hear what you think about this design that i will show you in a little bit you can do this with like regular nail polishes as well if you're not into gel polishes but i think that these gel polishes are just so easy to work with and you only really need a couple of gel polishes of course a base and a top coat and just some stuff you want to lay in between because these are milk bath nails that we're going to do I have a huge amount of nail glitter, dried flowers, just the whole shebang. I've actually done a nail art like stash video or collection video. I think it's already like two years ago, maybe one and a half years ago. So if you're curious to see what my collection looked like back then, definitely check it out. Of course, a lot of other items have been added throughout the last like year. So yeah, I might even do an updated like nail art stuff stash collection video. <laughs> so yeah, if you would like me to do so, let me know in the comments down below. But as I mentioned, I am going to do this design or at least show you how to do this super easy Valentine's Day milk bath design on some Presto nails. And here are actually the heart shaped glitters that I'm going to use. If I remember correctly, I actually got all of these from AliExpress. Um, you can get so many beautiful glitters from there for just like a couple of cents. They're really, really inexpensive. The only thing is you do have to wait for a couple of weeks for your items to arrive. I've never really had massive issues with AliExpress or packages getting lost, not being sent or anything like that. I do get a lot of questions on that how to know if something is safe if a seller is a good seller and it actually has like perfect customer service so yeah just try it out if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and i'm happy to help you with that but yeah let's continue with this first color i'm going to use which is the white one this one is called white lace it actually has a little bit of like a purple hint to it so it isn't like a perfect white color it's more of like an off-white with a little bit of purple in there but after that first coat is completely cured for 30 seconds of course i'm just going to place some of these heart shaped glitters um, into the tacky layer so don't remove that tacky layer just yet because it's perfect to adhere some bigger like chunkier glitter into it I tend to do that a lot. It is just really easy. You don't need any additional like 
gem gel glues or anything like that you can just place it in a tacky layer and nine out of 10 times it actually sticks down perfectly and after you've placed all of the glitter where you want them to be i just placed them really randomly i just picked some up from the different pots that i was going to use but after everything is in place you can just go over that once more with that white lace gel polish to really give it that milk bath effect little bit of sheerness going on but a little hint of color as well which is something that i totally love i'm a big big fan of milk bath nails i've actually done two regular nail polish design of milk bath nails as well so if you want to check it out i will leave it in the um, end screen section so you can definitely look at those as well if you're more into regular nail polishes than gel polishes but just like I mentioned, if you have everything in place, you just want to go over with an extra layer of that white lace color or any other color that you want to use. You can even make it more of like an, like, how do you say that? Like a more in-depth kind of effect by adding this layer, adding a little bit of more glitter or whatever type of material you are using. Go over that once more with that sheer polish and then cure it. But because these are gel polishes and especially if you're working on natural nails like I actually usually do, you don't want to make it too thick of like an application. So that is why I only did like a sandwich kind of technique with a layer of color, some glitter and another layer of color and then of course top coat afterwards. So yeah, sometimes it might happen um, if you're applying the second layer of the color gel that some of the bigger like chunkier glitter is going to move around. You might pick it up with your brush. You can just easily place that back, just put it back to where you want it to be before fully curing that coat and after everything is fully cured you just want to go in with your top coat i'm using the no wipe top coat by menum glam this is definitely one of my favorite top coats it's really easy to remove as well just gently foul off the top coat layer and you can just easily soak off your gel polish manicure that's just a little tip i wanted to give in between this tutorial but yeah that was the first nail already let's just continue with the second color because i wanted to do a nail with every single color that i got from this collection which were four colors out of ten i was able to pick out some colors that i really wanted to try and actually do some nail art with and i just thought that this color was really really cute this one is called cake for dinner it is a super soft pink color with some more bright pink shimmer in there all of the colors or at least the four colors that i got have some beautiful shimmer in there which make them even more suitable for an in-depth milk bath design it really gives a little bit more definition to the nail especially if you're working with an extra layer like i mentioned a little earlier in the video and especially if you're going to do it on press on nails like I'm doing right here, I think you can do such a cool dynamic design. You could also use um, some like more finely milled glitter in between the layers as well to give it even more of like a sparkle and definitely a milk bath effect. Once again, I didn't want to make it super complicated because I do know that a lot of my viewers are actually starting out doing nail art or are looking into doing nail art but haven't dared or just tried it yet. So I like to keep my designs easy to do and yeah, if you want to, of course, you can grab your nail supplies at the moment as well and do a cute set while watching this video. And of course, if you do have any questions or comments, definitely let me know in the comment section down below i'm really really happy to help you out if you have something like you're struggling with or anything like that just let me know in the comment section down below but the third color is called milky dream this is one of those beautiful pastel purple lavender kind of colors once again with a really cute shimmer in there I think it just gives an extra nice like sparkly touch to the nail I am quite like curious to know what these would look like with a matte top coat. I haven't tried that so far. I'm not quite sure if you will still be able to really see the sparkle in there or if everything will be completely muted and the sparkle actually doesn't show up at all. 
I have had that happening with a couple of shimmery gel polishes that I was like, ooh, that will be beautiful with a matte top coat. And then I applied the matte top coat and it all went to crap. <laughs> I'd say like the entire sparkle was so far dulled out that you didn't even really see it anymore. Not even like matted out sparkle. It was like completely gone. So I'm pretty curious to know if the sparkle in these milky kind of gel polishes will still be kind of visible or at least just the color of the sparkle and not really the shine. So yeah, if you have tried out these gel polishes and you have tried it out with a matte top coat, do let me know what the outcome was because I'm really, really curious to hear about that. And just a little extra information about Madame Glam. As I mentioned, they are vegan, they're cruelty free, they don't contain any HEMA, which is some strange chemical that you can get some allergic reaction to once it has hit the skin. Fortunately, I haven't had any issues with that, but always be careful when you are applying this to your natural nails or at least to the fingernails that you are wearing, whether they are natural or maybe a gel or tips or anything like that. Never touch the skin with gel or at least make sure you have properly removed it with some rubbing alcohol or a gel cleaner before curing it because some people are very sensitive skinned and they might get like eczema or anything like that from using gel or acrylic products for that matter so always be careful with that these are of course professional items so just work with them professionally as well that's just something that i really wanted to put out there um, then again these are all 15 milliliter bottles they have a very nice brush to apply the polish with i don't have any issues with that the bottle itself and the brush handle actually lies pretty nicely in the hands it it isn't like a super small like brush handle or anything like that so you can actually like really grab onto it and just work with your gel polish the um, price of these are usually $19.95 in dollars so about 20 bucks for one bottle which isn't inexpensive but if you are a VIP member you get like a 50% discount like standard but I do have a 30% discount if you don't want to have like a VIP membership because it is a membership of course so definitely check out my discount code if you want to try some of these polishes yourself I always leave my discount code in the um, description box down below so definitely check it out if you want to try some of these colors and yeah if you want to have any recommendations of colors because I do have a ton of these beautiful Madame Glam gel polishes do let me know in the comments down below if you're looking for a specific type of pink or yellow or maybe some neons I can definitely help you out with that as well because I have grown quite a gel polish collection so far the last couple of years but yeah, I'm totally skipping on telling you what I'm doing for this final nail because I switched it up a little bit compared to the other three colors. But this beautiful sparkly blue is actually called Bubblegum Sky and I just love pastel colors like these, especially once again with the shimmer. I think it gives a really nice touch and I have only applied those like translucent they're not really translucent, like they kind of have a cool shift to them, the little hard glitters. Um, if you skip back to a little earlier in the video where I'm showing you all of the different pots of glitter that I'm using, these shift in color so beautifully. And I thought it was a perfect match to apply these and only these on the blue color because it just looks really cool. It definitely looks like a bluish milk bath with like some petals in there or anything like that. I think it's really cute, especially because these are all heart shaped and Valentine's Day is coming up pretty soon as well. Keep an eye out for more Valentine's Day designs. By the way, this is just the first one of a couple that I'm planning on doing this year. I always love this time of year so yeah that was the entire video so far let me know what you think about this like collection and design thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in one of my next videos